Hey guys, what's up DJs Aviation? Welcome to the highly awaited 25th update to my 1 to 400 scale model airport series. In this particular update there is only one new model aircraft which just so happens to be the one on your screen now and there are no new structural changes. I know you guys have been um, like asking and also demanding me for a long time to do another update but I've got to be brutally honest with you, I've had no motivation to work on the airport and or do an update. Um, it can take a few good hours for me to set everything up and then actually record it. Um, and in turn, sometimes I'll go through nine recordings. Like I've, this is about the fifth time I've tried to record this intro um, and I just end up stuffing it up with wording, uh, which can make it really difficult. So hopefully you still enjoy the video, even though it's been a good month and a bit since my last update. The reason why I live such a long period is I know a lot of you would love to see it um, published every single week on my channel, but honestly, I know I would feel extremely drained if I did it every single week, but also there wouldn't be really any new models every single week because I'm not ordering models like every single day. So it's quite maybe six months before I order another batch of models. So you'd constantly be seeing the same ones over and over again, not to mention you might get tired of the same layout. Um, so by leaving it a month, hopefully when you do see this in your subscription box, it makes you a little bit more excited to see it rather than, oh, okay, I know he's going to be publishing the model airport on Saturday at 7.30, every single week, repetitive. So by spacing it out, it's more of a specialty, a treat when this is in the subscription box because I know a lot of you like this series. Um, so without further ado, I will stop blabbing on and just get straight on to the models. Our first one, as I just mentioned, is the new model. This is the Etihad Airways Airbus A380. A lot of you would have already seen this if you watched my model review on it. Um, but this is heading off to Abu Dhabi, completing its inaugural flight. This is the first of the double daily services between DJ International and Abu Dhabi. Um, behind that, you'll be able to see there's a Star Wars aircraft. And if I zoom out a little bit, you'll also be able to see there is the other one. So the first one is the 777-200 in the C-3PO colours. And moving to the left, this is the R2-D2 7879. Uh, you're probably w asking and wondering why they're in the cargo bay. I thought I'd be again creative with my video and try something different. Star Wars 8 The Last Jedi was released just a few days ago. So I'm pretending I'm recording a day before it came out. Um, these two aircraft are filled with all the camera crew, the directors, the actors, props and everything. And they're coming into the Star Wars premiere in London because my airport's located in London. So yeah, these are filled with all the celebrities, I guess you could say. Uh, and this one's carrying the last of them and is about to pull into the last cargo gate. Um, so yeah, let me know if you like that kind of idea I did there. It's a bit different, but I thought you might enjoy it. Moving along to the first of the remote holding stands for my domestic aircraft, domestic slash European aircraft. We have the British Airways A320, which is readying for a flight out to Gatwick. This is just a positioning flight, as this will then complete services out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Uh, it's being loaded on with some catering, as when it arrives in Paris Charles de Gaulle, it will depart half an hour later. Um, so it's being prepped, quite a short flight out to Gatwick. It's pretty much up and down, similar to Melbourne to Avalon or Melbourne to Essendon here uh, in Australia. Moving up, we have my Iceland Air 757-200 in the Hekla Aurora livery, another really pretty livery. This is heading off to Iceland and then we'll be heading off to, I believe, New York on a triangular route. This will depart in an hour and a half. Moving along to the left, this is just pushed back. This is my Lufthansa A321. This will be heading off to Hamburg. Um, and as you can see, it's taxiing to the runway and it'll be, I believe, departing after this Brussels Airlines, which is making a return to the airport. It's been quite a while since this has appeared, so I thought I'd bring it back. This will be heading off to Brussels, straight after the Etihad Airways Airbus A380. However, we now are kind of at the peak. This is being filmed at around 7 a.m., 8 a.m. DJ International time. So a lot of the American flights have just landed. I'll get onto them in a second, as I've kind of split up the airport the way I'm doing it. You know how I've got the cargo, the A380 area. I'm starting to make an American area, so where uh, not just American Airlines, but all the flights that head out to America will be based. Um, so we'll get onto that in a second, but as I said, this is heading off to Brussels after the Etihad. Um, it's half an hour late, it's had some problems getting all the passengers on board, but it will be heading off then, it will have around a two hour layover, and then we'll head straight back to DJ International. 
Moving to the left, we have uh, the two empty gates. One of them was for the A380, but uh, the Qatar A380 is currently inbound. It's estimated in around 50 minutes, coming in from Doha, of course. And then it will occupy, I think, the gate closest to the screen, as the Etihad was at the furthest one. Moving along to the left, we have a not completed terminal. And we have another really, really pretty aircraft. This is the Etihad Airways 7879. So now I've got a collection of three Etihads. Uh, the 747 Cargo, the A380, and now this, the 787. This will again be heading off to Abu Dhabi in two hours, as it's now a double daily flight using the A380 and the 7879. Uh, behind that, you're not able to see all of the aircraft. I apologize for that. We'll get a close-up of that a bit later. We have the Air Canada 7878, I believe, in the new colours. Um, this is made by Phoenix, and the colours were a little bit off. Um, but yeah, this will be heading off to Vancouver shortly, I think in around an hour. Um, and it arrived about two hours ago, one of the first flights in for the day. Moving along, currently taxiing off runway 26 is the British Airways Boeing 777-300ER. This has just arrived in from a flight from Los Angeles. Um, and we'll be taxiing to the gate next to American, which I'll show you guys in a second. Moving up, we have another British Airways. This is the British Airways 7879. This will be heading off to a flight to Dallas-Fort Worth, which is a new route for British Airways from DJ International. It'll be operating the inaugural flight in around five hours. So as you can see, not much is going on. I believe that vehicle towards the bottom of the screen is just inspecting the aircraft at the moment. Moving to the right, we have the very, very pretty and elegant American Airlines 777-300ER. This will also be heading out to Los Angeles. So the British Airways 777, the American 777, and my All Blacks are the main ones that head out to Los Angeles on the airport. This will be departing in 45 minutes. Uh, it arrived again around an hour and a half ago, similar to the Air Canada. And moving to the right, as you can just see, there's a bit of paint on the wall, which I'm trying to fix by getting an airport background. But that's where the British Airways 777 will go. Moving over, we have my Ryanair 737-800, which is being prepped for a pushback uh, and will complete a flight out to Manchester, I believe. And um, as you can see, the tug's already attached. The last of the passengers are going on. The catering truck should be pulling away any second now. Um, and moving along to the left, an empty gate, and then there are two more empty gates, but in between there is the Aer Lingus A320. This is being prepared for a flight out to Dublin in 45 minutes, uh, and this pulled an overnighter. Same with the Ryanair at the airport, so they're ready to complete their first flights of the day. They then, I believe, will be heading straight back to the airport on a back and forth route. We're going to just change the camera angle now because you're not able to see the last two planes of this update, so just bear with me for a second. Okay, so now I've changed the camera angle, we're on to the last two aircraft of the updates. They're both 777s and both special liveries. This one is the KLM 777-300ER in the orange pride livery, so a very pretty one. This is one of my favourites on the airport. Uh, it's really well done. Anyway, this will be heading off to, I believe, Amsterdam and then Kuala Lumpur on another triangular route. Um, this was because when I originally got the model, I didn't expect for my airport to be based in London, so I've had to kind of work around that. That's why it's operating the triangular route. It picks up most of its passengers in Amsterdam, however, it gets around a quarter full from my flight from DJ International. Uh, then I'll be heading straight back, by the way. We then have the Air New Zealand All Blacks, which is making another appearance after quite a while, I think. This will be heading off to Los Angeles, and is the third flight that services Los Angeles here. Um, as I said, this will be heading off to Los Angeles, but then it will be heading off to Auckland on another triangular route. That's because at this stage, until we maybe get the 777X in, if a model's ever released of that, um, then it will, can go, I guess, London to Auckland non-stop, or it might stop over in Hawaii. Uh, but that's pretty much the last of the update. Um, I'll show you here just the spotting area. I did have to clean the airport base, and I only cleaned it in some parts because I haven't touched it in about a month and a half since the last update. I have not touched it at all, so that's why I had to clean it. Uh, well, Christmas is soon, so I'm not too sure if I'm getting any new models. Um, I am, if I don't get this one, I am looking at getting the Quanta 7879 to do Perth to London. Uh, and also, if I can, I want to start up a Australian airport. That will mean that when I finish the airport, I don't know when, um, like again, I haven't had a lot of motivation, so I'm not too sure at what stage it might be halfway through next year it might be in january of next year i don't really know but when i finish it i'm going to start up an australian airport probably 
Melbourne Airport and Sydney Airport combined. Uh, and then I can have like the 787 going from Los Angeles to um, Melbourne, Los Angeles to Sydney, Perth to London, etc. So it's going to be more of an Australian airport rather than Melbourne, I guess you could say. I do have a couple of, like I've got the Retro Roo 1, which can still fit. All Blacks can come in. The American 777 can. The British Airways 777. Air Canada and Etihad can. The A380, of course, can. The ANA R2D2 goes into Sydney, so that can still come in. Uh, but things like the Ryanair, Aer Lingus, Iceland Air, British Airways, and Lufthansa won't be coming into the airport, unfortunately, unless I can kind of work around like a charter sort of thing, which I might look at for the Iceland Air, because as we know, uh, there have been chartered aircraft that are like go around the world on world tours. So I guess you could still work that around somehow, but... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the update. Sorry for the long wait. Sorry if I like my speech seems a bit weird. Um, but yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Hopefully the up next update won't be too long. Because uh, if I get any new models, I'll definitely make another one so you guys can see them. Uh, but yeah, see you in the next video, guys, and peace.